often forget that many of you have not watched all my other videos in this series and there's a lot of misunderstanding. First of all, I'm not running a regular piston. I'm running this two-piste design by Mark Atkinson and there's a ledge in the ring land, top and bottom. And if you look at this ring, there's this T shape to it. And this makes it so that you could stick it into the piston. And there's a limit to how much it can expand. So this ring with this piston is kind of the key for this 100% uh, of bore exhaust port to work. Looks like this when it's assembled. I'm missing the cutouts for the transfers here. We'll do that later after after we know it works. Why no bridges in the exhaust? If you analyze any modern good racing two-stroke, you'll find that it is blowdown restricted. Blowdown is the area of the exhaust port above the transfers, the part of the exhaust port that is open before the transfers open. And it's crucial. It's easy to get enough transfer area. You could always just raise the ports. But then you will eat into the blowdown. And you can't just raise the exhaust port. The further away you go from about 190 degrees duration for the exhaust port. The less your pipe will be in resonance. The, previous, the pulse from the previous cycle will be less matched with the pulse from this cycle. If you get what I mean. You will see cylinders with higher timing than 190 degrees. As long as you gain more RPM than you lose torque, or the RPM makes up for the lost torque, you will make more power. You will get to a point though, when you start losing more torque than you gain with RPM. Blow down specific time area is what you need more of. You need to find a way to make that exhaust port flow better, or make it have more area. But you can't raise it. So this is what I'm doing here. I made it as wide as possible, made it as high as possible without destroying the resonance. And I've removed the bridges, more area. I could put in bridges, but then we're back to just a normal run of the mill modern racing two stroke. And that's not what I want. And this is experimenting, this is R&D. I'm not like, I'm not doing this because it works, I'm doing this because we don't know if it works. Doing it because it probably won't work. But you gotta try. Without trying you won't get anywhere. There's a hole through the skirt and into the middle section. And there's a pin that's supposed to go there to lock it together. And then the aluminium will be pinned over to keep that pin from coming out. But I won't do this yet. This is just for a short test with a drill, see if it snags. But when we're going to run it on power, we'll need that pin. So far so good, seems to be working just 
like any other two stroke when I turn it by hand here here's a look at another feature of this cylinder which I think I haven't mentioned yet the exhaust floor is raised it's much higher than the transfer floors might be too much but total exhaust area is pretty much unimportant it's the blowdown that matters and there's a lot of blowdown here this raised exhaust floor will definitely uh, lead to less short circuiting between the A transfers and the exhaust port. First stage completed, the ring is holding up. That's it for now, next time we'll tap some holes and uh, mount up the head and see if we can get it to run on the primary under its own power. See you next time.